In the first problem, we have to calculate the output of the given circuit. In this circuit, we have three XNOR gates, one, two, and three XNOR gates. And let's say output of the first XNOR gate is Y1. Output is Y1 for the first XNOR gate. And output is Y2 for the second XNOR gate. And first I will find out the output of first XNOR gate. Then we will find out output of the second XNOR gate. So output of the first XNOR gate Y1 is simply equal to A XNOR B complement because A and B complement are the two inputs and output of the second XNOR gate Y2 is equal to A XNOR B complement. So you can clearly see both the outputs Y1 and Y2 are equal and let's say it is equal to Y. So for this XNOR gate for the third XNOR gate the two inputs are Y and we have the same inputs and when we feed same input to the XNOR gate the output is equal to 1. Let's prove this output is equal to Y XNOR Y expansion is Y complement and Y complement or Y and Y Y complement and Y complement is equal to Y complement because A and A is equal to A. Similarly, we have Y here. Y complement or Y is equal to 1. So the output is going to be 1 and option number B is the correct option. You don't have to solve considering A and B complement. If you do this, it will be very lengthy problem. Y will be A complement and B or A and B complement in the same way Y2 is also equal to A complement B or A and B complement and after this you have to XNOR both these expressions and this will take a lot of time so you only have to use the property of XNOR gate and we have one as the answer now we will move to the problem number two in the second problem in the second problem, we have to find the minimum number of NAND gates required to implement the Boolean function A or A and B complement or A and B complement and C. So this is the Boolean function and we have to find out minimum number of NAND gates required. Let's say the Boolean function is Y and it is A or A and B complement or A and B complement and C and whenever you have to calculate the minimum number of NAND gates the first thing you have to do is to minimize the given function so we will minimize it you can see A is common in all the three terms so I will take A common and in bracket I have 1 or B complement or B complement and C 1 or anything 1 or anything like this is equal to 1 so we will use this property and we have a and 1 a and 1 is equal to a so output y is simply equal to a now you have to find out the minimum number of NAND gates required to implement this function I'm not going to write down the answer for this you have to find out the answer and once you have the answer post it in comment section so the second problem is homework problem for you and this is all for this lecture see you in the next one